What's good? Brian Tong here and welcome to the Apple Bits for everything good and bad inside the world of Apple. And let's get to the show and Mac fans. You gotta love this. According to Bloomberg, Apple will release a new low-cost MacBook Air and a Mac Mini targeting Pro users sometime this fall. Now, the new lower-cost MacBook Air will have a similar design as the current one, but will have thinner bezels around the screen and finally bring a high-resolution retina display to the Air for the very first time. And we've been hearing for a while, right? Apple's been working on this new MacBook. Could it be an Air? It's low cost, but this is the first report outright saying it will be a MacBook Air. And after a pathetic drought since October of 2014, the report also says the Mac Mini will receive its first upgrade in four years. Finally, thank you. Now it was a great entry level Mac four years ago, starting around $500, but Bloomberg says they'll be focusing on pro users this time with new storage and processor options likely to make it a lot more expensive. And if they do this, Apple might end up having a Mac mini alongside their all new, hmm, what should we call it? I got it, the Mac mini pro, you know? I'm good at this, huh? That, that, that was really tough. I mean, imagine how much stress Apple's marketing team is going through, sheesh. Now, Bloomberg reports we could be seeing both the new MacBook Air and new Mac Mini in a separate October event after the Big A launches the new iPhones and the Apple Watch Series 4 in September with potentially the new AirPods and AirPower as well. Then, new Macs and new iPads in the Big O month? So get ready, like I told you before, it would be a jam-packed second half of 2018 and I'm telling you, like my heart, it is ready. It is so ready, but uh, my wallet is definitely not. All right, in iPhone news, because there is always iPhone news, German website Mackerkopf says the new 2018 iPhone pre-orders will take place on Friday, September the 14th, based on their sources from German phone carriers who are preparing for the launch. Now that would line up with what's being targeted for Apple's official iPhone announcement on potentially Tuesday, September the 11th, or Wednesday the 12th. Now, if you look back, last year's iPhone announcement came on Tuesday, September the 12th, and pre-orders opened on Friday the 15th. Reports also say Apple is ramping up production ahead of schedule to avoid delays from last year's iPhone that ended up shipping November the 3rd. So September 21st has been rumored as the release date. And I have never been the biggest fan of the notch design. And really, notching against those of you who like it, uh, plenty of you have told me just to get over it. But one thing's for sure, nearly every one of their competitors, they've decided to embrace the notch or just flat out copy and chase Apple's design down to the shameless Motorola P30 phone that pretty much looks exactly like the iPhone 10. And I'm sorry, Motorola. Look, you made the first handheld mobile phone call on your Dynatac. Zach Morris, hey Preppy, he had one and I wanted one. And now you're just plain thirsty. I mean, this is embarrassing. And yep, you know what? You get a bad apple. Boo! I'm sorry, I can't respect that. Like, it's more like Motorola. <laughs> That's bad. All right, now a new report from the China Times claims the wireless charging coil on at least one of the 2018 iPhones will be made from copper wire instead of FPC, which is ferrite polymer composite, and will allow for faster and more efficient wireless charging in the new iPhone. Apple will be switching from thinner FPC wires to thicker copper wires, and it would most likely be an improvement with its new OLED phones and not the LCD-based budget version. But wait, hold on a second. Apple is actually making something thicker to benefit consumers? I mean, this might be the first time this has ever happened in the history of mankind. And that's a good Apple. Yeah! Am I right or am I right? Come on. Now, current iPhones wirelessly charge up to 7.5 watts, but other Android phones like Samsung charge at a higher nine watts, but they still can't come close to competing with charging speeds with a physical wire. We know it's just the future, it's coming, but it's taking some time, like a lot of time, just like the AirPower Maxi Pad. All right, some Apple Watch news, and you know, like, I am so ready for the Series 4. Apple has filed six new Apple Watch model numbers with the Eurasian Economic Commission, and it's a big fat bat signal that the new Apple Watches are coming in case there was any doubt. Now, a majority of flagship Apple products like iPhone, iPads, AirPods, and the recent 2018 MacBook Pros, they have been submitted to the ECC usually within one or two weeks before they're released. Apple has showcased all the new features from watchOS 5, 
but we're expecting a faster processor, improved health tracking, battery life, and a larger screen that extends the edges of the current Apple Watch form factor. But one of the new watchOS 5 features is Apple is finally adding WebKit support. Now you won't get a web browser like Safari on the watch, but you'll finally be able to click and open web links in apps like Mail or Messages. For me, the Mail app had literally become completely useless because of its lack of WebKit support before. Like you couldn't click on anything and emails looked all like junk. So this is just another small but big way they continue to make the Apple Watch even better. And you know what, I am juiced. And also keep a lookout for my video featuring the ways Apple Watch Series 4 can get even better before its official launch. All right, that's gonna do it for now. If you finally found me, subscribe, thumbs up, subs up, and hit that notification bell. Uh, so I'll be delivered directly to your pants. And if you wanna get that real deep dive for Apple, check out my weekly audio podcast, The Apple Bits XL. You can support that and my new independent journey at patreon.com slash Tong. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you all next time for all the bits and bites inside the world of Apple. Take care. Be safe. Peace.